This is part two of my blender challenge for entry, modeling uh, an alien tracker. And in part one, I did this back piece here. There are four pieces, um, till remain pieces to the body of this. So I'm gonna work on the second last piece. I'm gonna come into edit mode and uh, J to join those. I'm gonna put an edge loop down the middle and I'm gonna delete these ones right here and put on a mirror. Okay, look. In edge selection, I'm going to select that and look from the side. I'm going to pull this and sort of bend it back so there's an angle because the next piece is going to come off like that and like that. So I'm going to take that, E to extrude, pull it back a little ways. It's about a third of this length, scale Y zero, like that. Now I'm going to bring an edge loop in to the front here. And I'm going to select these, E to extrude, and I'm going to come out and create these sort of little wing-like sections that come off on both sides. Now I'm going to bring an edge loop towards the back. And I'm going to put an edge loop right down the middle of this side piece here. So I've got one here, here, and here. And I'm going to drop an edge loop there and there. Select both of them, scale in the Z pull them like this and I'm going to use this area here this area and I want another one here so I'm going to shift alt and click that and I'm going to control B and pull until I roughly match the same height as these and that can all be adjusted with that done I'm going to turn off the bevel momentarily select these faces and I'm going to delete them now I'll select these edges right here. E to extrude and pull them out a little ways like that. And then I'm gonna take this edge and shift and click this one. I have to make a face and do that all the way down. I have to make a face. Now I can select these four edges and F and on the underside and do that for all of them holding down shift, clicking the edges, and pressing F. Turn the bevel back on, have a look, make sure I didn't mess anything up. And we'll just look from the side and see if these are roughly the same and I think they look pretty close okay so I'm going to take this and I'm going to go ahead and apply the mirror and set the origin of geometry on that and pull it back so it would fit on here and now I'm going to take one of these bolts here shift D bolt screw whatever that thing is rotate Z90 there copy that rotate in the Y a bit and that's it that is it for that That's the second piece of the tracker, and uh, we'll leave it at that, and then we'll move on.